Are you wondering how the Nintendo Switch is performing during this massive holiday sale season? I've been kind of wondering too, and while we still don't have any direct numbers, in fact, until the MPD report and other reports from other countries come out for the month of November, we're not really going to know for sure. But what we do have is Adobe doing some analysis of the marketplace, and, well, things are looking up. For Switch, that is. Uh, what they have is this uh, giant analysis thing that they're doing of the whole market during sales seasons and holidays. And uh, right now they have analysis up for Veterans Day and then um, the 22nd, uh, which is the day before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving itself, Black Friday, and this past Saturday. Uh, the next big sales day is obviously today, Cyber Monday, and as the day isn't over, there's not really anything to analyze yet. But what's interesting is not only is the Nintendo Switch in the top five selling products for all five of the days currently uh, being looked at, it's number one for several of the biggest of those days. So first off, on Veterans Day, you'll see that AirPods were the number one selling product, then Samsung tablets, then Hatchimals and uh, Collectibles, <laughs> um, and then Nintendo Switch at number four, followed by PJ Masks on the 22nd, which was the day before Thanksgiving. Um, LOL, Surprise Dolls, were the number one. Hatchimals and Collectibles were number two. Nintendo Switch was number three, just ahead of number four, which was PlayStation VR. And here's what's really cool. Super Mario Odyssey chimed in at number five. Remember, there's no sales on Nintendo Switch or Odyssey this holiday, so huge selling items there. On Thanksgiving itself, which we know there were many sales starting around 6 p.m., Nintendo Switch was number one, followed by PJ Masks, then the Hatchables and Collectibles, and the Chromecast, which was actually on sale for like 20 bucks, and Roku as well, which was also on sale pretty cheaply. On Black Friday, which is typically the biggest selling day of the year, the most amount of products in the, the United States are sold on this day, Nintendo Switch was number one, followed by Hatchimals and Collectibles, then PJ Masks, Chromecast, and Roku. And then Saturday, there's always some companies that continue sales through the weekend. Chromecast was number one. PJ Masks was number two. Xbox One X chiming in here at number three, followed by Nintendo Switch at four, and Hatchimals and Collectibles at number five. And I wouldn't be surprised if Switch is still in the top five for today, Cyber Monday, unless people are having a hard time uh, getting a hold of it. You know, if they just don't have a restock fast enough. Now, what's also interesting is that GameStop has predicted that they're going to continue to have supply issues as well for the Nintendo Switch through the holiday season. And I know my local GameStop, as of right now, I'm recording around 1 p.m. Central Time, does not have any more Switches in stock. They are out of Switches. They are out of Xbox One Xs. Uh, they are almost out of the PlayStation 4 Pros. I believe they said they had two left in stock. Those are probably sold at some point today because those are on sale this holiday. And they are actually getting low on stock of the Xbox One S and the PlayStation 4 Slim. So they are running low on all of that. Now, they do have plenty of supply, they say, of 3DS, but certain 3DS models are sold out, including their entire stock of 2DS, uh, their, their cheapest 2DS models, which are like those slate 2DSs, and their 2DS XLs are also sold out. Now, that's just locally. Of course, your local GameStops might still have some stock. I know Walmart, as of Saturday, still had some Xbox One Xs in my area, but they uh, apparently with it being one of the top selling items on Saturday, I won't be surprised if by the end of Saturday they're all gone. I haven't been to Walmart yet today. Best Buy was out of Xbox One X's back on Friday. I think they actually sold out Thursday night, if I remember right, and they said they won't have any stock until uh, later this week on that. I know because we're... Uh, my dad doesn't listen to my videos, so I guess I can say this. Uh, me and my sister are going in together to get my dad an Xbox One X. And I know some of you guys might decry, but Nate, why don't you get him a Nintendo Switch? My dad just isn't interested in Switch right now because it doesn't have the games he wants to play. He wants to play Call of Duty World War II, and he wants to play Madden. And those two games just aren't on Switch. He has a 4K TV. He's a technology nut. He is a CTO of a big tech company. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't bought one for himself yet, if I'm being honest. So uh, me and my sister are going in to get him an Xbox One X to take advantage of his 4K TV. Now, this is all great and dandy, and I I'm just happy in general that Nintendo Switch is selling well. I think we all knew 
no matter what, the Switch was going to sell well. The question is obviously how well. These aren't exact numbers here. These are just the trends in the computer industry on how things have sold. Um, you, you can kind of go across the toys and television stuff as well. Uh, switches in top five across the board. It, it's just very interesting. Uh, I can't wait to see what the final sales figures are. We know the Switch had sold probably about 8 million, if not more, because Odyssey came out since our last sales update. Um, 8 million or more Switches had already sold coming into this holiday season. I wouldn't be surprised if worldwide we see an addition of anywhere between 4 to even doubling the 8 million to 16 million total units selling. It, it's going to be very interesting to find out where the Switch ends up this holiday. But obviously at this point, we have Xenoblade Chronicles uh, 2 coming out. And then we kind of hit a blank space here. We don't have a ton of... of uh, Big third-party games coming out in the month of December. Uh, so now we hit a lull. This is going to be the first lull we've had in a while just because we don't know what big game is hitting next and when. Uh, we haven't had this feeling with Switch really since it, before launch. Before launch, we knew the trend of games coming. Now after Xenoblade Chronicles 2 hits, we really don't know what to expect next and when uh, obviously with the rumors out there that there is going to be a nintendo direct happening in january which i firmly believe to be true uh that's going to be what we i guess we look forward to next hopefully they announce the direct at some point in december so we have okay this is the date i look forward to that's going to tell us what big games are coming next and when to expect them and uh yeah hopefully we don't see a lull that extends much past january uh since a, b a bunch of people are going to be opening up brand new switches on december 25th and we're going to want to make sure that they have brand new games coming out quickly after that to maintain the momentum switch currently has but either way switch is off to a torrid start and i'm excited to see where it ends up personally i kind of have this dream number in my head nintendo's not even thinking this but i have a dream number in my head that by the end of this current fiscal year which would be 13 total months on the market I'm hoping that the Nintendo Switch hits 20 million total units sold. I know that sounds crazy. I don't even know if Nintendo can make enough units to hit that kind of target. But to me, that would that would be just amazing. Um, it also means that the marketplace is healthy. I think what's interesting in all of this is that we've heard things like LA Noir has sold 20% of its units on Switch in the UK, which I believe the Xbox One only had 26%. So just uh, you know percentage points behind that. PlayStation 4 was you know is the lead platform in that country and sold like 50% of copies on PlayStation 4. But it's just really cool to see the success of Switch, the growing interest in it, the growing third-party support, people buying third-party games, buying uh, games like Rocket League and all these quality uh, digital-only games. You know, I'm interested to see what the final sales figures end up being for Batman the Telltale series. Um, I'm just really interested in general in everything with the Switch because the more successful it is, the higher chance I'm eventually going to get the games I want on it, like a full version of Madden. Uh, I also want games on it like Call of Duty. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people out there that would rather not have these. I want Assassin's Creed Origins. People are going to be like, I don't care about Origins. I don't care about that. I don't care about, I don't care about Battlefront 2. I understand. You don't have to care about it. You don't have to buy those games. But I would like to see those games on the platform. Um, especially now that we know there's a lawsuit going on that might make it so loot boxes um, aren't uh, a thing that continues in this industry at least in the way that we know them now in games that are rated at an age rating where kids can play so it is what it is i can't wait to see what the sales figures are you guys let me know you know you guys give a prediction for what you think is going to sell this holiday and what you think the final figures are going to be heading into uh the end of the fiscal year which ends at the end of march Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime, and if you like this video, you know what to do, and if you dislike this video, hit that dislike button, subscribe for more content, and I will catch you in the next one.